Before we jump into the real reason Jamie Foxx will never get married, you know we gotta plug these goodies. Our online concession stand at rrgsnacks.com has an assortment of barbecue brisket beef jerky, gummy sour bears, and green apple licorice for you to munch on while watching our videos. Now, let's take a brief trip down memory lane. On December 13, 1967, Eric Bishop, better known as Jamie Foxx, was born to Daryl Bishop and Louise Talley Dixon. After his dad converted to Islam, his father attempted to include seven-month-old Jamie in the fasting ritual of Ramadan. It caused his parents' marriage to fall apart, and Jamie's mom's adoptive parents stepped in out of concern for Jamie's health. They adopted him and raised him in their Terrell, Texas home. He didn't find out he was adopted until he was five. By that point, he thought his biological mom was his sister, although he never actually met her despite her living about 35 minutes away in Dallas. In his memoir, which we've linked for you in the description box, he wrote that when he found out the truth about his parentage, he was shocked, but he wasn't completely devastated. After finally meeting his biological mom, he hoped she would take him. However, he soon realized she still wasn't ready to be present in his life, even though she had two more children she was raising just fine. Her absence began to affect him as he wondered why she was so emotionally and physically distant from him. He experienced more emotional disconnect after meeting his father. In his memoir, Jamie wrote that his dad was so wrapped up in his religion that he started every sentence with, Well, you know, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said. This, of course, made it difficult for Jamie to have a normal conversation with him. According to PsychologyToday.com, when a person is emotionally neglected by their parents, the effects can linger into adulthood and cause a person to disregard, minimize, or even be ashamed of their feelings. Thankfully, Jamie's grandparents filled the void he felt from his parents not being a part of his life. They showered him with all of the love, attention, and affection in the world. But still, deep down inside, he wanted that same love to come directly from his parents. His dad passed away and his mom got remarried two more times. Her third ex-husband is the man that Jamie refers to as his dad. Despite their marriage ending many years ago, they both live in separate wings in Jamie's home. During a September 2009 interview with the Daily Mail, Jamie said that some of his romantic relationships early on in his life, including one in his early 20s, really damaged him. He said the heartbreak made him ponder if falling in love was a healthy part of life. Everyone handles a breakup differently, and according to Healthline.com, the effects can include appetite changes, lack of motivation, weight loss or weight gain, headaches, stomach pain, stroke, or even a heart attack. Despite the stereotype that men are less emotionally invested in relationships than women, studies have shown that men suffer a greater emotional impact during a breakup. As for Jamie, he told Men's Health magazine that he experienced a heavy feeling in his chest and a loss of appetite when his relationship ended. And it's no surprise that his first heartbreak still affected him many years later. During his interview with the Daily Mail, he said his reluctance to get married wasn't limiting his dating options. In fact, many women saw him as a challenge and they wanted to be the one to change him from a bachelor into a husband. He would always tell them, well, if you change me, I'm not going to be the guy that you like. I'm not going to be that sort of dangerous, adventurous guy that likes to have fun and keep it light. In his memoir, Jamie writes that he's never been convinced that marriage is a good idea for him and he's not the marrying type. Just because he's not trying to be someone's husband doesn't mean he's against commitment and sharing his life with someone. However, he told Men's Health magazine that he simply prefers long-term and short-term partnerships over matrimony. They say variety is the spice of life, and Jamie is known for surrounding himself with beautiful women at all hours of the day and night. He calls his California home Party Central, and he allows his diverse group of friends to let their hair down without the fear of being photographed by the paparazzi. It isn't uncommon to see Eminem, Jay-Z, Bobby Brown, or Brian McKnight hanging out in his living room. He made headlines when his fence blew down and his neighbors witnessed a group of people playing a game of butt-naked basketball in his backyard. Uh, yeah. Blame it on the I I I I I I I I 
Jamie will celebrate his 56th birthday in 2023, and he doesn't plan on settling down anytime soon. Since he's still hitting the streets and enjoying the Hollywood nightlife, the women he encounter are getting younger and younger and younger. He told the Daily Mail that young female partygoers act like he has some kind of disease when he tells them his real age, but that doesn't stop him from getting out and having a good time. During an interview with Howard Stern, the host told him it was time for him to, quote, sit home and be quiet. Jamie wasn't having it, of course. He loves being free and living life by his own rules and on his own terms. He even encourages his friends to do the same by telling them, you belong to the universe. At one point, his eldest daughter, Corinne, wanted him to marry her mom, Connie Klein. Corinne saw that all of her friends' parents were married, and she wanted to experience that same lifestyle. But Jamie shut that down with the quickness. Although he has a lot of love and respect for the mothers of his two children, he told E! News that the cookie-cutter family life didn't appeal to him. As Corinne got older, her friend's parents' marriages started to crumble. Jamie told E! News that witnessing those breakups actually brought him and Corinne closer together. What is my favorite hobby? What's your favorite hobby? Yes. Mental illness. No mental illness! He was able to explain that just because he wasn't wearing a wedding band, it didn't mean they didn't have a lot of love in their household. When he started dating actress Katie Holmes in 2013, many people suspected she would be the one to drag Jamie down to the altar. Gossip websites even reported that they were planning a wedding. But after several years of dating, he wasn't even comfortable publicly claiming her as his woman. He even walked off a 2018 interview when the host asked about their relationship. And I, I saw pictures. Did you and Katie Holmes play basketball for Valentine's Day? Like some real loving basketball game? Uh -oh. Katie and Jamie went their separate ways in 2019. Since their split, he's been spotted with various women. And even Ray Charles can see that Jamie always falls for a particular type. In his memoir, he writes that he doesn't intentionally seek out non-black women to date and have children with, and he's well aware of his blackness in every single way. He added that everything in his world is black, even the white people. He added, I take those same white people to the George Floyd rally, and we gonna watch do the right thing, too. Despite his reluctance to tie the knot, Jamie doesn't know what life has in store for him. Many people thought Idris Elba and George Clooney would remain lifelong bachelors as well. And, well, look at them now. They're both happily married. And the same could happen to Jamie. In his memoir, he writes that he might get married, quote, in a few decades when I'm in a wheelchair and need somebody to push me around and change my diaper. And then, for our RRG besties that are into this sort of thing, Jamie told Men's Health magazine that perhaps it's his zodiac sign that contributes to his aversion to marriage. He said, I'm a Sag, committed to being not committed. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.